Every child is welcome. This is a key principle in modern Finnish population policies. My name is Anna Rotkirch. I head the Population Research Institute at Väestöliitto, the Finnish Family Federation, and I recently worked as the demographic rapporteur for our government, headed by Prime Minister Sanna Marin. In this brief video, I will explain what we mean by this, every child is welcome, and why there is a need to even say such a thing, and what it could mean within the context of sustainable population development and a human rights framework. The background for our population policies is the quite drastic decline in Finnish fertility in the last decade, when fertility rates fell by over 25%, raising widespread concern. This was a surprise since Finland with the other Nordic countries has been a model country with regards to gender equity, family friendliness, parental leaves and child well-being. As a consequence of the discussion around falling fertility rates and our otherwise also quickly aging population, Finland now holds fourth place globally uh, as the most aged population after Japan, uh, Italy and Portugal. As a consequence, um, Vastolito did a new revised population policy program, which I will present here and also the government made its new population policy principles, which I will also very briefly touch upon uh, regarding the support for childbearing. But here we go, which are our 10 population policy principles. First of all, Finland has a small population, around five and a half million. If nothing changes, it will start shrinking within the next five to 10 years. And we think that is a bit too early. Populations will shrink, uh, but a suitably sized Finland, in our view, is not shrinking just yet. This means we need multiple ways of supporting both immigration and fertility. Second, and this is really key for us, a balanced population development has to be ecologically sustainable. We are facing the big challenge of tackling the climate crisis at the very same time as we have uh, aging populations and all its challenges. And these two need to go hand in hand. And can we believe be something of a win-win if we do it properly. Thirdly, Finnish total fertility rates are quite low, around 1.4 currently. We think it would be desirable if they went up somehow and somewhat. We don't aspire to a theoretical replacement rate of around two, but 1.8, 1.9 would be desirable both from the point of view of fiscal sustainability and providing our welfare state services in the future, but also since that responds to the actual wishes of the population, because most people do want to have around two children. Related to this, we think there's a new need for supporting in many ways young adults to achieve their desired family sizes. Young adults should be supported to have as many children as they wish for, whether it is zero or five. Again, this is within a human rights, sexual rights and reproductive rights framework. But this is some, something of a new opening in Finland and I am quite pleased that not only did my organization's population policy program has this emphasis on better promoting uh, 
the desired number of children. But this was also included as a main highlight in the government's new demographic um, um, and population policy guidelines, uh, which were adapted in March 21. So the Finnish government also thinks that people should be better supported to have the number of children they want. And here immediately the government also stressed, as we do, that there are many ways to create a family. All different types of families are equally valuable. Every child is welcome means this is not related to who your parents are or in what conditions or in what ways you were conceived. Every child is welcome. How do we better support this? There are new initiatives to support fertility awareness, uh, which is a wide ranging set of both facts regarding reproductive biology about uh, both the possibilities and the limits of artificially assisted reproduction, but also more social support for the reflections about your own life path. Do I want children? When is a good time to have children? With what kind of partner? In what kinds of families? And how can society support me in achieving um, my wishes in, in, in this life sphere? Again, we stress that there are many ways to be and become a parent. This varies with regards to occupation, sexual orientation, even the numbers of parents in the family. Um, we are very inclusive and again stress that every child is welcome and will be supported by society. For more concrete examples on supporting reproductive life planning, do watch the recent webinar we had. It is in English and it is in this boot. There you have also concrete Danish and Swedish examples, which we hope in the future to monolate in Finland. Five of the 10 population policies principles. The fifth one is that close social ties are at the core of public health. We stress the importance of parental relations, couple relations, grandparental relations, friendships. We know that these are um, these soft social uh, ties are actually also key for physical and mental well-being. And our goal in Vaistolito is that everybody should have at least one close, meaningful social relationship. Then again, we stress that family friendliness should concern everybody at the workplace, not only those who have small children. It is true that investments in those with small children will benefit people across the life course. If we help babies now, that will help those who are middle-aged in 50 years to come. But also currently, uh, those who do not have small children, which are many uh, in, in the Finnish workforce, obviously, uh, have other, kinds of other types of important social and family relations, and they also need to be supported through family-friendly policies. Then the last points concern immigration and uh, regional development, which are really important, but I will go quickly through them because it's, this, it's not our main focus in this booth. Do look at the publication if you want more background. We think immigration should increase by at least uh, doubling the current net migration rates. We also obviously need really to develop in how we uh, attract and integrate and welcome new immigrants from different backgrounds. Um, we really hope, as I think many do, that the new developments uh, in distance working and other kinds of multi-locality uh, phenomena will stimulate regional development, help a balanced population development here. And we also, um, as a new emphasis, think that we have to support especially 
returning migrants, which have been practically invisible in Finland. So here were our 10 policy guidelines. Thank you for listening. Look at the attachments and the videos, and especially uh, the video we made about family formation and its challenges in Finland, Taiwan, and India. It's a beautiful video, and it highlights much better than I or our graphs could ever say uh, the challenge we currently have of really getting across the message that every child is welcome. Thank you.